mistakes can be made and uh, in a trust culture, as we know, but how do you move on after the trust has been breached? Um, and I was reading uh, somewhere the story about when you were growing up, how you had the accident when your dad gave you back the keys and said, you know, try right away. Um, so you believe, uh, again, when trust has been breached, so to speak, to repair it and to quickly move on. To quickly uh, give the person another chance. That, that story, uh, can may I tell that story a little Absolutely, bit? Because it's yes. a, so this was when I was 15 years old and I wanted to drive and I was not yet old enough to drive, but we had a long driveway. And so my dad gave me the keys to the car and I backed out on an L-shaped driveway, hit the tires against the curb that was on a berm and then hit the gas and I went up over the berm and hung the car up on the berm and I tried like crazy to get it out and I couldn't do it. So I went in finally and got my dad. He got a neighbor and they got the car back going and I said, well, that's the end of driving. Maybe the end of driving for a long time. And as he was walking into the house, he turned around and tossed me the keys and said, don't forget to put it in drive this time, son. And yeah. I've thought of that so many times when I've been working with somebody who's let me down or hasn't gotten something done. Don't forget to put it in drive this time. Because that experience, they will have learned a ton from it. And not to capitalize on that, not to give them a chance, actually diminishes the relationship, diminishes their learning, diminishes the opportunity to build a high trust culture. So that's, that's one of the ways that I think you deal with, with failure and, and how you learn from it. And I bet you never forgot to put it in drive I never, ever again. Yeah. I made other mistakes, but not that one. <laughs>